Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord DJS tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a reload commands command. So basically what this command does, it reloads every single command that you have in your Discord bot. So for example, you added a command, it will um, make the changes. If you delete command, it will make any changes. And if you edit a command, it will make a changes. So the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I don't really see uh, much YouTubers making a uh, uh, tutorial means I don't really, I never seen a YouTuber uh, made a tutorial on how to reload the entire commands folder commands if that makes any sense so yeah let's get right into it so for this command we're actually going to use globe so let me just go to my terminal ignore the messy terminal so if you don't have globe already um just do npm i globe to install it once you have done that you should get uh the globe package so you just require globe by doing const globe equals require globe and in here, first thing you want to do is if message auto ID not equals to your ID, your Discord ID, which can get um over in here. All right, just click on copy ID and then just paste it in over here or else we're just gonna return this is because we don't want our people to use this command because it is a really sensitive command so the first thing we're gonna do is you want to do globe and then gonna pass in template trolls just your dear name comma what am i even doing slash dot dot so we're gonna go out and folder so let's say uh if we're in this folder currently so we're just gonna go to instead of staying at utils which is dear name is utils so if we go out one directory we're gonna go to commands and then we're just going to do slash again and then we're going to do two stars so basically two stars is uh it's going to go through all of the folders okay and then uh we just going to star dot js so if the file ends with dot js uh it's gonna get passed into this callback over here async error file paths okay so if it passes all of these uh, requirements it's going to come inside the file path callback and then it's going to be an array so inside the array, uh, it's gonna get all of the file paths. So we can just do this. Uh, we can just do file if error. Return console the log error. Okay, and then we can just do file paths. Dot for each file. And then uh, we're gonna do delete. Oh, before that, uh, I need to do this really quickly. We need to do um client dot commands dot sweep. And then uh, we can do kind of commands to sweep, and then we're just gonna do true. We're just gonna make a so every so it deletes every single command, and then we're just gonna reset it in here. So file pass dot for each file, okay. In here, we're just gonna do delete require dot catch require dot resolve, and then uh, we're gonna pass in this the file path, which is the file. All right, and then uh, we can do cons pull equals a uh, require require and then a file. So this is basically taking the entire module exports in here. So we're gonna check if the command has a name. If it doesn't have a name, we're just gonna ignore it. So we can just do if uh, pull a name. We can do um, client dot commands dot set pull dot name comma pull all right so this is like the handler itself and then uh, next we're going to check for aliases so if pull dot aliases and array dot is array pull the aliases and then uh we're going to do pull the aliases dot for each alias and then we're just gonna set it so client aliases aliases dot set and then uh, alias comma pull dot name so you can do this with timeouts and everything uh, i think you get the format so if there's something we're just gonna set it all right so next uh we're gonna do I think that should be it so that just in case i'm just gonna log out console the log um uh, reloaded and then you just do pull that name so you can see the um 
uh, what comma has been reloaded. All right, and then once that's all done, we can send a um, success message. So we just can say uh, something like reloaded messages. I mean reloaded commands. So let's just test this out. Note dot. Okay, so let's just go in here and then uh, we can try to run this command. So um, currently I have a commands, the JS. So let me just edit this file. So currently, if I do commands, okay. So currently console logs. So I want it to send a message if I do commands. So message dot com channel dot send um commands is here or something like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna save this and I'm just gonna go back to Discord. So if I do y commands right now, it wouldn't show anything because it was console log before. It's going to console log the commands, which is expected. So to get these new changes, all you need to do is just do a y uh, reload commands. I say reloaded commands. I don't know. Okay, I it's doing perfall. So move this to um, after this. So just move it right here. And then you should be good to go. So if I do y reload commands again, uh, you should only say once or not. So let me just restart it again. Okay, just for safe, just for it to be safe. Oh, I understand why because we're doing it for two directories. So let's just move it out uh, of the loop in here, the callback. All right. So we can just do note dot. Okay. Let's just restart this because I messed up. Okay, so we can move back to the commands over here. Let's just retest this again. So if I do y commands, it should say command is here. So let's say um, I want to say command is not here. Okay, so I save the file, and if I do y commands, it's still gonna say commands is here. And if I do y reload commands. And then say reload the commands. So if I do y commands, commands is not here. As you can see here, it actually updates from command is here to command is not here. So the next thing I want to test is creating a new file. So let's say you create a new command. So let me just do something like add.js, uh, basic setup to module, exports, name, add. Um, let me just do run client message. And then let me just say I want to send a message. Message dot channel the send hello. All I can just say added. Okay, so if I create a new file and I save it, okay. Once again, if I do y add, it wouldn't respond at all. Then if I do y reload commands, and I do y add, as you can see here, it actually responds after I um make this y reload command. So it actually. Uh, you can do this for like a lot of files and then it's when once you run the command it's going to reload for every single file in your commands uh, directory all right so the last thing we're going to test is deleting a full a, a file basically so if i delete at the js you don't want this command anymore you want to delete it so let's just delete it okay if i test again y add it should say added all right so added so if i run reload command reload commands and if I do y add again, it wouldn't respond anymore because the file isn't here anymore. So yeah, this is the uh, reload commands for every single command in your command directory. So if you want to watch more videos like this, stay tuned to the end. You will see a playlist that you can click on. You can see like over 80 videos for um, uh, to this date. Okay, so yeah, other than that, have a nice day. See you again in the next video. Bye!